Alright, I'm here. The game audio's here. Hopefully the Crystarium is not fanfaring everybody out of existence <laughs> like it does whenever I'm here. I hope everybody's doing alright. I'm Ren. You're watching Ren on Vacation Gaming Channel. And I otherwise go by Ren JB on Twitch. Uh, we are gonna open up the Eden Raids for the first time today. Well, it's not the first time for everybody else. It's the first time for me. And so, because we finished out Hildebrand ARR series of quests, I'm just gonna take a quick break from that and work on this. Um, as for what to expect from the stream, you're gonna hear a lot of nonsense just about life and our experiences and a whole lot of digression and jokes, some of them maybe not so appropriate. We also talk about stuff we see on YouTube because we're all streaming fans, um, meaning we are fans of other streamers. <laughs> Um, and just, we might, we will end up talking a lot about this game, maybe even the game you play. There is a language warning for this stream, and we don't drop words like every other word, but we do throw words out here and there, so unfortunately, if that was something that is something you watch out for and don't want to hear, you'll, you'll either want to keep an ear out, or we may disappoint you, especially when things get very rough in, in dungeons and whatnot. Um, when this is done, when I go back and edit and clip out the parts like the intro screen, I will go back and make bookmarks so you can skip parts you don't want to listen to. Please join in the chat anytime you want. We do talk to folks in the chat. If you caught this as a VOD afterward, get into the comments. Let us know what works for you, what doesn't work for you. We leave comments, um, offer critique, offer corrections. Uh, we, we, we're good with all of it. Yeah. <laughs> Especially me with my bad memory. But if you like this stream or you want to keep up with what we do in the future, please like the stream, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll just keep doing what we do, and we'll have you along for the ride, and it'll be good. So here, let me go ahead and start up Discord audio with me today. Ramas is here. Unfortunately, Sheikah's not here, so let me let me uh, remove Sheikah's picture really quickly. Ramas, you there? Oh wait, I'm sorry. He's not there. Give me a second. My fault. There you go. Ramas, you there? I have returned. Yay. Also, uh, welcome to Alicia, as always, and Prince of Spades is here tonight, too. Yay. I know who Prince of Spades is. Welcome, welcome, Angel. Let me see, gotta find my, uh, my, uh, mini group co-streamer pictures. That's the name of the entire group. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. So I'm going to add, uh, TM Aurelian and remove Sheikah just for today. Uh, TM Aurelian will not be audible, but they are, um, she's coming with us so that we can all be together as we are doing all this stuff. So you're probably gonna get really bored, Tia Marillion. <laughs> so I do. I'm used to disappointing people. <laughs> I'm I'm so happy that we can all be here again today. Oh, one more thing. So sorry. Fair. Streamlabs lets me be able to see who's talking and doing things. If at any time the music is too loud, or I'm too soft, or somebody's too loud or too soft, let us know, especially if you use speakers, because I find that when I'm editing stuff after the fact, my sound is never right, and I can only ever tell with speakers. So, yeah, please let, let me know. Alright, now that I'm- I'm loud! <laughs> Alicia says, I haven't finished all of Eden on this character. Um, I like Eden, so it's fine. Okay. Peace. Do, do, do. There. Now I can see my panda. What a good panda he be. Yes! Adventure panda. Alright, so let us get this show on the road. Alright, you want to start us off as the anxious Crystarium guard? Okay. I... Just to let you know, Ramos is an absolutely fantastic voice actor. 
I have no variation in my voice to speak of, but I'll do my best. <laughs> okay, I disagree with the first, or I disagree with both of those statements. You are like at, at the start, you were kind of like you know, eh, you only had the one voice. You've really been working on it, and you're doing a really good job. You've always done a good job. Like, eh, well, thank you. Like you should anybody here when before I was able to get this computer, go back and look at the Endwalker videos. When oh oh god. Everybody's name runs away from me. Varshan. Go listen to him do Varshan. Yeah. It just popped out of his head one day. It was fantastic, and he was always able to do it. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad at taking compliments. Moving on. <laughs> okay, I will move on. <laughs> Alright. One of the Crystarium guards is particularly relieved to have found you. Just be warned that if... I have to voice a specific character, and I'll warn you when they show up. I will give them the most irritating voice you can manage, because I fucking hate them. <laughs> no problem. Oh gosh, he just, he's just a normal dude. We'll never see him again. I'll just give him a rant. I'll just give him a normal voice. I'll just give him okay. my voice. <laughs> ah, Renat, have you seen Green? She's been looking for you. Nope, oh, you Rain. mean Rhine? Rhine? Was... You know, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's not her name. <laughs> Wait here. I'll go and get her. Bye. <laughs> Where are you going? I thought we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours later. They oh gosh, I'll, I'll be mean. There you okay. are. The truth is, I need your help. Most people do. <laughs> Now, hold on. I haven't even told you what it is yet. Enter the Shadowbringer slot? No, not yet. Okay. Ahem. After you defeated him at Selk, I sensed a strange concentration of light somewhere far to the south. In the empty. The lands that were once swallowed by the flood. Really? The empty? Okay. <laughs> Empty's nuts? Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell what it is, but we have to find out. For all we know, it might even be another Light Warden. But whatever it may be, I don't intend to stand by and watch. I'll... I'll look pensive. Just... Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Thancred, Ariange, and I have a few theories that we plan to test once we find whatever's causing this. But they're stuck on the... Never mind. The three of us were reluctant <laughs> to ask for your help, considering everything that you've been through. The thing is, you're the only person who can defeat a Light Warden without becoming one yourself, so we have no choice. While we don't want to jump to conclusions, it would be best to have you there, just in case. So, will you come with us? Yes or oh, no? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going for top. Me I'm too. always up for an adventure. This is ridiculous. I wouldn't have it any other way. No, you should let you should pet sleeping dogs' tummies. That's what you should do. <laughs> Thank you, Renat. This means a lot. First of all, let's head to the Derek in Almorang. Then Crit and Ariange should have everything ready by now. Uh, did you notice it just started raining? Yep. <laughs> Rain? <laughs> So once again, we have slightly time-traveled. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a disclaimer on this one, because some of the others you can get away with, like, you know, they all take place in the same world, so... This one should be, this takes place between this and this. Oh. Hey, puppy! They're good dogs. Where's my action Dog dinner? front. Now, why am I petting the air? I want to pet the puppy. Of course the puppy goes over there! I was just about to teleport us. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I'll get us. Whee! <laughs> you have encountered a doge. Options. Pet doge. Snuggle doge. Feed doge. <laughs> I still need to get the, uh, the new mount. Whenever there's a Shadowbringers related change of topic, I always expect to hear Tomorrow and Tomorrow. It's uh, it, one of the better songs in this game. This game is, like, back to front full of incredible songs. Yes. 
They made it back! They made it back to the first! <laughs> Hi, we're time displaced. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's kind of like when I went back to go work on um, the the harder versions of the primal fights, like way after the fact. And so there's Orange in his old outfit, you know, standing <laughs> around the waking sands. And I'm like, oh, so you got you got rid of your new outfit. Okay, I guess this is just comfy. <laughs> <laughs> Do not yuck my yum, warrior of light. <laughs> uh, uh, do you want to be thankered? I'll be Orianche. Okay. Thankred says, Sorry to drag you all the way out here. I have a feeling you'll miss this place when you see where we're going next, though. And Orianche says, Tis a blessing to see thee so hail. Meh. All right, let's talk to me. Didn't say anything fun and flowery, Orianche. <laughs> I hope the desert creatures didn't give you too much trouble on the way here. I doubt they posed any sort of challenge to him. Would, I, would that I could say the same with confidence about whatever fiends may be waiting for us out there. Even if the light that Reen sends turns out to be nothing of consequence, the empty is hardly the most welcoming of places. Anything that could survive out there is not to be trifled with. Moreover, it should be reiterated that the light blasted wasteland poses poseth as severe a threat as any foe we might face. In any event, we are in agreement that this phenomenon doth warrant investigation, though for lack of more precise means of navigation, we must needs rely on Reen's innate abilities to guide us. I have formed several hypotheses regarding the nature of the light, but speculation is a poor substitute for first hand observation. Agreed. Nod. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for us to talk about it on the way. I brought pizza rolls! <laughs> Is the Sky Slipper ready, Thancred? Oh, that's the name of that pretty little thing! Okay. Oh, yeah. Ready to take us wherever we need to go. I back again, too, maybe, if we ask it nicely. I love Thancred. I really want that mount. Yeah, <laughs> Thancred fucking rules. I like all the science. Uh, I really want that mount, but I think you have to beat the extreme version, and I'm like, ah, I love life. No, thank you. <laughs> Though the light hath been expunged from Norvrand, the ambient ether of the empty is still corrupted. Dangerously so, in fact. The flood of light devastated everything in its wake. The soil, the air, the water, all rendered incapable of supporting life. Tis due to this imbalance that the empty remaineth utterly uninhabitable even a century thereafter. That's why we're taking every possible precaution. Between the aetherometers I've packed and... That's an interesting new new object. I think it's, I think it's a theriometer. <laughs> a theriometer. Still interesting. Um, between the aetherometers I've packed and Reen's unique abilities, we should be able to detect and measure any fluctuations in our al alignments. I should just start correcting you being spectacularly wrong. Um, <laughs> it's pronounced flustuations. <laughs> According to the Crystarium Scouts, a few days out there won't affect us to any noticeable degree. Much longer than that and we risk becoming Sin Eaters. Since we still don't know how Chocobos and Emero will fare in the Empty, we opted for a more mechanical mode of transportation. This comes courtesy of the researchers at the Mean, who found it in the Crystal Tower and restored it to working order. The Alligans beat that?! <laughs> <laughs> It's quite safe, I promise. The person in charge said he'll have parts delivered from the Crystarium should anything break. He seemed quite eager to see what we bring back from the Empty, even though I told him we're not hunting for treasure. I'll introduce you if we have a chance to stop by Mord Souk at some point. I could go for some Mord Soup. Ah, Soup. Ah. Anyway, I think that covers everything. When you're ready to leave, just say the word. The word. Word. Word to your mother. <laughs> Word up, everybody. <laughs> when you hear the call, oh. you got to get it underway. Okay. Do your dance. <laughs> Do your Okay, yeah. Uriange <laughs> says, I, I, I fucking love Cameo, all right? That and Candy are like my favorite Cameo songs. <laughs> okay. Um, Prince of Spades says, feeling a little Star Wars here, is that a speeder pod? Word. 
Orianji and- says, <clears throat> Although the flood of light is believed to have expunged all traces of life from the empty, we must remain ever vigilant. We know not what we shall find. Right. Hi, Jalen. Hey. While I'm piloting and Reen's navigating, you and Orianji will be free to enjoy the view and engage in browsing conversation. Oh, that means we're going to be thrown into conversation. By that, <laughs> I mean you can spend the whole time, he can spend the whole time talking at you while you nod in agreement. Well, shut up, Baker, you're always <laughs> picking at me. Why you always Just picking at me? say you love me. him. I, I do. <laughs> especially, especially, I didn't realize how much I love this asshole until, until Endwalker. <laughs> Oh man, he just. Oh, I thought. I, oh, go ahead. He just grows on you. He really does, like a fungus. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna talk to Reen. Okay. Well then, shall we? Depart for the empty? No. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think I'm not feeling this. I'll be back in a couple hours. Bye. <laughs> I take a siesta. It's not like we can't come back. Oh, crazy plan music. Okay, I, I take it back. This is kind of elegant. This has a wood panel that doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> the elegant equivalent of like a wood panel station wagon. <laughs> like a hatchback. I love this song. Me too. With a name like The Empty, I wasn't expecting much in the way of pleasant scenery, but this is downright depressing. This is the future Republicans want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everything's white and flat. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> to look on the land swallowed by the flood with mine own eyes is a chilling sight indeed. Approximately nine tenths of this world are as this, a slate all but wiped clean. Were it not for the warriors of darkness and Nymphilia. Green, are you sure we're heading in the right direction? Yes, I'm certain. There's no telling how far away it is, though. Hmm, nothing for it but to keep going, then. You two back there may as well take a nap. I have a feeling we're a good few moms ahead of us. Or we've a good few moms. I should get a nap. Orianji, can you tell me anything about anything? <laughs> I shall now expound upon the intricacies of etherical conduits. Wow, look at that. I really love that scenery, actually. It's the barren. No oh, life is. is here. It is. Like, I didn't even think about that. Um, let's see. I have to say, it's a touch larger than I was expecting. And it's... Is it sleeping? I'm handsome. <laughs> what is that? Um, it's an it. Mazel tov. It looks like a sin eater. No, it's waking up. I don't like the sound of that. Is it a light warden? Well, exact question I have. No, I don't think so. Instead of being filled with light, it is light. That doesn't sound good. The first sin eater. Long have I strived to unravel the mysteries surrounding the flood of light, to discover what set that terrible cataclysm in motion. Every thread led to the same conclusion the same single point. Or single being. I have reason to believe that the entity we see before us is the first Sin Eater, the instigator of the Flood, the very foe Minfilia vanquished a century ago. A century! Turned into <laughs> fucking Sean Connery. <laughs> it's so nearby. It's a big chungus. <laughs> she gave everything she had, and won. But this abomination could undo her work. Aye, the possibility cannot be denied, though it is oft said that destruction and creation are but two sides of the same coin. 
Reen, knowest thou of what I speak? The power to shape reality, to bend the laws of nature, for what was once shattered may be forged anew. That's all well and good, but don't you think we should give it a name first? <laughs> Kevin! Kevin! <laughs> Arl, the Sin Eater. <laughs> Eden. That's too... what? I wouldn't give it that nice name. Yeah, what about Kevin? <laughs> Utopia in Fae, a most auspicious title. Why give it that, though? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, she's like fucking 12, I don't know. <laughs> Sounded pretty. Now that that's settled, perhaps we should find a spot to set up camp. I even brought a couple of tents. On the off chance, but pitching the damn things is something of a fine art. Does anyone fancy, help fancy helping me? Well, that's kind of how Prince tents always go. <laughs> right. Prince of Spades says, that's, e that's a Sin Eater of scary levels, I'm assuming. Yes. Then Alicia says, FF something reference? Probably. It is. Now, let's all try to post the tent and we'll just, by the end of it, we'll all be cussing and mad at each other. <laughs> Thankfully, it's already done. All nice and neat. Let's talk to Oliange. Oh, this song! Which song is it? I can't hear it yet. This is from another Final Fantasy game. It's one of the ones that really stuck with me. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me try it. Oh, I, I think this is six? Yeah. It, oh, no, it might be seven or... No, it might be eight. I think it's eight. I want to say it's six. I'll look it up later. Okay. Um, this is one of my okay, favorite Final Fantasy songs ever. It is a very good song. I, th I feel like Eden is from eight. <laughs> anyway. Iwimatsu, I love you! Okay. <laughs> Please stay alive longer, at least until Final Fantasy 17. <laughs> Though frequent, re frequent rest may allay the symptoms of prolonged exposure to the empty's ambient ether, it would be unwise to linger here over long. Uh, Alicia says, phasing, I'm sitting on the boxes to your left, but we can't see each other. Aww. Oh. Where's Bankrid? I don't know. Is he up on that silver oh. slipper? <laughs> nope. Okay. And anybody who's not on the Gulf Coast will not know the Silver Slipper reference, but anyway. No, I do not. He's like in one of the tents. Go away, I'm having private banquet time! <laughs> There's a casino called the Silver Slipper. It's on the Gulf Coast, not far from where our, my parents live. And they have a radio ad. It's it's like a... Uh, I'm just gonna say it. It sounds like a... It sounds like a... Uh, an older black blues singer, because it's in Mississippi. And he's and he is strumming like a guitar or a, it's a guitar. I wanted I wanted to say banjo, but no, it's not a banjo. It's not twanging it. But he's you know doing these little blues riffs and he's like, come on down to the silver slipper, dun, 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 dun. something something silver slipper. Dun, 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 dun. And yeah, very simple. I, but it's very. Catchy. I was super into blues from like I want to say nine years old until I was like twenty three. So, mm -hmm. I was like a harmonica goblin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Prince of Spades says, "Feels like six. Stardew Valley has no music, or has music similar inspired by Final Fantasy." Mm. There is a. Uh, I know that either six or seven had a big tendency to use some of these chords that are in this song. Um, I want to say I heard it in seven as well, but it's the. Hold on, it's almost about to play. It's after this part with what sounds like a marimba. Hold it's on. definitely one of the okay. So hold on. Ones. It's all those. Yeah, all of the background. The those chord progressions that I tried to sing poorly <laughs> are. <laughs> Those chord progressions were very, very common in whatever game it was that that was out, and they okay. were, they were oh, lovely. Sorry, and I want to say this was definitely in seven, um, but it was probably also in six where these chord progressions, the style was there. So I'll, I'll correct myself. This was probably in seven. Um, uh, it was in eight. Um, the 
It is currently I don't I can't find what song it is, but the entire raid series is a reference to eight. Okay. Uh, and later on, um, this music will. Uh, oh, it's the no wonder it's so familiar. Uh, this is the overworld theme from Final Fantasy VIII. Ah. Yeah. It's called Blue Fields. Okay. Uh, but later on, the theme will change to the theme from Balam Garden, which is a major setting in eight. Oh yes, yes, the freaking place I could never get through. As you go there to train, <laughs> I hated that place. I always get yeah. lost. Anyway. <laughs> so many dinosaurs. What is Reed saying? I don't know. Let's see what Reed says. God <laughs> oh, damn it. Now I have the dinosaur theme stuck in there. <laughs> I never realized that putting tents up could be such a bother. Still, I'm glad that we got out here in the end. Or got there in the end, rather. Thanko should be back from scouting the area soon. Once he's here, we can plan our next move. Eight. I got no reward. During the course of your investigation, you may discover valuable artifacts. These can be exchanged for equipment by speaking with Ghoul Ghoul. Yeah, and, and Mortsuk, or... Y yeah, <laughs> gosh, these names. Y'all, y'all. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> and... Y'all, y'all! Okay, and you'll more. Sorry. And y'all more! <laughs> <laughs> I can't pull nope, out my mount, nothing. otherwise I try to fly up there. Let me see. Hell yeah! Can I can I reach that? I sure can. Yeah, I actually have to get up here to go back to Almering. Okay, cool beans. Oh, sweet. All right. Want me to talk to Reen again, or do you want to do Oriange? Uh, he says the same thing. I already checked. Okay. On top of y'all. I know Oriange's other name, thanks to um. Aspen Gold is uber danger, but when, <laughs> but whenever I see Oriange and listen to his name, I always think of an orange. He's, oh yeah, because it's it's very close phonetically. Right, so I'm just he's not uber danger. He's he's orange. He's he's a he's a giant orange. But anyway, oh, his name is Orange Juicer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Prince deploy the core. <laughs> Oh, Princess Bade says, um... We'll be avoiding tents now. This also feels a bit like Legend of Mana. Oh, yeah! And then Princess Bade adds hot rice. So, Orianche's name sounds like hot rice? Did I catch that right? Or maybe there's a song in Legend of Mana called Hot Rice. Nah. Oh, man, I must have played like 30,000 hours of that game back in the day. Anyway. I never got a chance to play it, except a couple of minutes of it here and there. It's one of the games that I started watching other people play games on, because I got to watch my cousin and my brother play the dickens out of it. <laughs> That's how I started watching live streaming. Before it was live streaming, watching other people play games has always been a thing. So, oh, hell yeah, especially when you're, like, the second child. I was I grew up watching my brother play RPGs. Yep. So. so if anybody's ever wondering why people like to watch other people play games, it's always been a thing. Ever since arcades, ever since every time, everywhere. It's just part of the experience. <laughs> <laughs> you said cool beans, the response is hot rice. I've never ah. heard that, but I fucking love it. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see. Green waits anxiously for Thancred to return from surveying the vicinity. Except. Well, there's more white out here than rice. <laughs> rice is delicious, but this, whatever this sand is, is probably not. Let's see. I wonder what's taking Thancred so long. We will now find out. Uh, I slipped and I fell into a, into a lagoon, or a ravine, not a lagoon. Ah, there he is. I was camouflaged, you couldn't see me. Hug him! Oh. <laughs> well, that was rather uneventful. Not that I'm complaining. Did you find anything? No, thankfully. There's naught but barren plains in every direction, apart from Eden, obviously. I tried approaching it, and the brute didn't even seem to notice me. I thought it best not to tempt fate, so I withdrew. We should act now before it's fully awake. Meaning what, exactly? Is 
Kill it. <laughs> when I think about the Flood of Light, I get the feeling that rather than destroying everything in its path, what it actually did was stop the flow of Aether. Of course, that meant that all of the plants, animals, and people here could no longer survive. They must have crumbled it to dust in the years since. But the Aether is still here, lying dormant. If Eden is the one that caused it, maybe it can get it flowing again. I don't know for certain, but I think I can use Eden to bring life back to the Empty. Now, hold on a moment. What makes you think that's even possible? And how do you expect to control that kind of power? Well, yes and yes. Like <laughs> <laughs> Green's aspirations may not be as preposterous as thou dost surmise. Thanks, Uncle. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> Minfilia halted the Flood of Light's advance not by destroying Eden, but by silencing it. And in doing so, she hath gifted us an opportunity too precious to waste. Even now, the, fl the Flame of Hope burns on. I love shit like that. Like flame of hope burns on. I'm like a sucker for that kind of crap. <laughs> Aye. As Minfilia's successor, it standeth to reason that Reen doth possess the means to exert her will over Eden. But such a monumental task is not to be taken lightly. What sayest thou, Renat? I imagine this is easier said than done, or it would put Reen's life at risk. Uh, ever like we always putting our lives at risk. What the hell? Okay, yeah. okay. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine this is easier said than done. No, suddenly I'll now I care. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we care. But... I mean, like verbally, in this, in this, in this way that says no, we should stop now. <laughs> yes, you're probably right, but I have to try. Very well, Bean. You've made up your mind. So, how should we go about this? I have an idea. I've been studying it carefully ever since we arrived, and it seems to me that the light is more concentrated at a certain point. I suppose you could call it the core. That giant Talos had a core too, like a beating heart. It controlled the flow of Aether. If Eden's core is the same, perhaps we could use it to restore the etheric balance? I forgot my <laughs> phone was on. I'm doing my thinking face. The theory is certainly sound. By employing Ethernet shards as beacons, mayhap we could trace the ethereal flow to Eden's core, and in doing so, secure the means to teleport to the very heart of the beast. Thankfully, the Settlement Council has kindly furnished us with a plethora of apparatus by which, we, by which to perform such feats. However, we must needs first have Reen study the in entity's interior and chart us a suitable course. Get to it. <laughs> Once we have reached our destination, I shall fabricate a means by which you may directly communicate with Eden and mayhap exert a measure of control over it. Over. You can really do that, Oriage? All credit is due to a dear friend. A gentle soul long since departed who imparted to me a wealth of knowledge concerning etherology. Although I am certain she would be all too quick to chastise my methodology. Excuse me for interrupting this trip down memory lane, but I don't imagine that Eden will be too happy about us rummaging around in its innards, for want of a better term. In all seriousness, though, I wouldn't be surprised if there was some sort of welcoming party arranged for intruders. Perhaps you had best lead the way, Renat. It's kind of what I do. It's not true that he's the only one who can defeat a light warden. I mean, that backward, okay. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's true, rather, that he's the only one who can defeat a light warden, but I'd rather not rely on him any more than we have to. <clears throat> yes, I haven't forgotten what happened when he absorbed too much light, but as Alizé said, Making promises you have no way of keeping is not a kindness. Now, I wish I could put down wardens myself, but the simple fact is I can't, and there's no point pretending I can. 
That's why I'm asking Renat. Then perhaps I could... You already have a job to do, remember? You are my daughter! You will not unnecessarily endanger yourself! <laughs> Let's see, the only reason this plan even has a chance of, su of success is because of your involvement. We need you to concentrate on the task at hand and guide us to the core. Not only that, you'll have to keep an eye on Eden itself. If we somehow manage to make it angry, get us out of there. Are you sure you want to go through with this? I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> Ah, this is what I do best! That's what I always say. Here we go. <laughs> yep. Pound, pound, chest, chest. <laughs> I won't let you down. Though we will remain here, Reen and I shall do our utmost to guide thee along the ethereal stream. After thou hast breached the exterior, we shall remain in contact via these link pearls, courtesy of our comrades in the Crystarium. Being relics salvaged from the Crystal Tower, I fear they may be somewhat less reliable than those to which thou art accustomed. Quest accepted. <laughs> like, Rion just eyes just go totally blank. He just goes, Quest accepted. <laughs> Burn. Eden's Gate Jacob Resurrection now accessible. Now we shall dance the dance of pain and joy. Like we always do. Yes. Um, Alicia, regarding our conversation about being, you know, second children that watch others play, says, or your cousin is the one with the NES, and he only lets you play Super Mario Bros. until you die once, and then it's his turn again. Right? Right? Yeah. That's like yeah. the universal experience. <laughs> Why, siblings? Why? My brother wasn't the, the worst example of that. He's, he's a pretty cool dude. <laughs> Orianje says, The teleportation apparatus hath been calibrated successfully, and I believe the probability of irreversible disintegration to be relatively low. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> you just kept that to yourself, buddy. Let's see what Reen says. We're ready when you are, Renat. Orianje's way back there in the, uh, in the boonies by the tents. <laughs> Wait, Thancred? Let's see. Let's see what he has to say. Er, yeah, Thancred, that's what I meant. Yeah. I can't get this bloody thing lit. Must be because the Aether has stopped flowing, just as Reen said. Though, if this plan of hers and Oriange's actually works, we might have to stop calling this place the Empty. We'll call it the Full. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite of Full. Hold on one second. You see, like Chica and Ramis already know, when I'm on stream and talking forever, there needs to be some kind of moisturization going on. Otherwise, I will not feel comfortable in my own skin. So first of all, get like crazy lotion on my hands so they can feel comfortable while hitting buttons and me feeling frustrated with the buttons. I shouldn't have lotioned my hands first, because now I can't open the lip balm. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. That's, I, I've been there. Not <laughs> specifically, but like, opening the package of bacon and then trying to unscrew the lid off the mayonnaise. <laughs> it's like, I am 40 years old. I should be able to do this. <laughs> not, not when the various types of lubricant say they're going to act like lubricant. Nope. <laughs> you must grease the proceedings. See, my lips are already chapped. <laughs> Prince says, that sounds, um, slimy. <laughs> it's not slimy, it is lubricated. Don't like that word. I just always think of machines. Yeah, me too. I was just, like, making a joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have no clue how long it's going to take to get through um, Duty Finder on this. Well, we have a healer, so less than it should. Thank you, Alicia. Yes. Hmm. 
I am not misremembering. Alicia is Sire Tia Marlian, right? Like, I'm not an asshole. <laughs> We've honestly met so many great people. I met you, Ramus. <sighs> I, I met everybody. Here, well, except Prince of Spades, I knew beforehand, and Jaylen, I knew beforehand. Everybody else we met, it's it. We're, we're gathering like a nice little community on the Discord. It's really been Agreed. great. So part of if, it. If I, oh, go ahead. I was just thinking, like, if if we're having trouble remembering who's who, it's really just because we've been having fun. So. <laughs> For yourself. <laughs> it's because I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot I do too. Have... I have a problem with names and, to a degree, faces, so... Yes, I am, Prince, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright. Get cute! Join as much as I... <sighs> I'm not looking forward to making an idiot out of myself. That's okay, I haven't done these in a long, long time, so... At least three years. Hmm, so this probably changed. Meanwhile, devs, I have a question for you, because I was wondering this the other day, out loud in another conversation. Why do y'all change the dungeons after they're been up? Somebody answered this question for me? Because very, because uh, I remember a few where like they were made more difficult or less difficult, and I'm just like, why? Do you just I like, think for them, just like for the most part. Them? I think it's it's one it's getting people through them faster because like a lot of these things are contingent on later things, um, but also usually the only way to make them easier is that they give a slight bump to the bonus the echo gives uh, mm -hmm. if you died after a certain amount of time in the boss fight. Mm -hmm. hmm. So that's nice. And why did y'all make Ultima a separate duty? And then why did you make, like, the other thing a separate duty instead of keeping it a dungeon? It was cool as a dungeon. I forgot the name of the place, but it's an ARR. Oh, the the Praetorium? No. The, uh... Um, oh. it's like halfway through the story. Um, you had to go to that one base that's near, uh, Aleport? I forgot which port. Uh, was it Aleport, Wineport, Mordona? The only base I can really think of is... Was it a Garlean base? Yeah. Oh, the one off the coast on Vesper Bay? I believe so. Uh, where you fight Rattatan? Yeah. Uh, double Shields guy? Um, yeah, I, I think the reason why they, like, changed it is because the old version was... I don't know if you, you played it after... You no, I, it, I, I played it before the so change. Sh yeah, but it, it was so stupid piss easy that... Like, the fight was literally over inside 30 seconds. And it's like, you'd have to wait in queue for, you know, 45 minutes, and then the fight would last seconds, and then you'd be done. And it's like, oh, this guy didn't do anything. He was a, a wiener. Uh, that wasn't my experience when I went through it. Uh, I, 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 I think... You know what? I have no response to that. I'm just a dork. I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like... Maybe people just learn to cheese things, because, I don't know, I feel like sometimes, and maybe I'm wrong, but I get the impression, like, as I've done MSQ and heard people talk about various dungeons, that they actually aren't even interested in doing the mechanics anymore. They would just rather pound away. And I'm yeah, just... That's fucking World of Warcraft players talking. And so... <laughs> not, that's changed. I mean, that's not... World of Warcraft is better than that now. <laughs> but it's just like, I don't I don't actually know if people are paying attention to the mechanics. And while it's easy to blame the devs for that, they didn't they didn't sit there going, well, let's make sure they can ignore the mechanics. No, it's just people got it through their heads that they were gonna ignore the mechanics. And yeah. why and granted, maybe the devs can do a better job at making sure they the mechanics can't be ignored. But, there's still an element of, in my personal opinion, there's like an element of laziness about it, you know? Like, yeah. the, the whole game says, you play with some semblance of mechanic, and everybody says, screw that, you know? And then they say, it's easy. And I'm just like, no, you, you just are ignoring everything. It's kind of, 
I mean, I don't know how to put it. It's it. Well, the the thing in my head that is not a good example, right? This is not a good example because the rules don't allow this anyway. But technically, in my mind, the terrible example is playing like checkers, mm. understanding that under very certain circumstances you can hop, and then mm. just taking your checkers and just hopping them all the time. And yeah. saying that it's a, and saying that they're valid moves, whether or not they're well, valid moves. And granted, Checkers has rules about when to hop, but it's <laughs> and, and and but I'm I'm just like I just feel like everybody's just pushing their checkers to the other side, saying done and and calling it a day. Well, I, I like here's my thing. Like for the Rattan fight specifically, so mm -hmm. there's a mechanic in the game where. Um, even though you are synced down to a specific level when you do old content, mm -hmm. uh, your your gear still has a a weighted um, like gain to your power, so you do way more damage uh, than you normally would do at that level with that gear. Mm -hmm. um, the only way to negate that is to run it at minimum eye level, uh, which I don't think you can queue as, but I don't know. I never do it. Uh, after that, though, I, I haven't really seen much of people saying, well, I'm just going to ignore the mechanics, except that one guy who, like, freaked out about the heals when he didn't even play the damn game. Well, um, it's, it's not about people saying that. It's the places yeah. where you know that there's things to pay attention to, and then, like, two of the players say, just cheese it, and then they just go, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's that what before. I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking I about. Think. Like, uh, I was mostly guilty of that in level 15 to 30 dungeons as Scholar. Mm -hmm. I literally would go entire uh, dungeons without healing. I'd just be DPSing and my fairy would pick it up. <laughs> yeah. So that that's what I'm talking about. Every time somebody yeah. would say to cheese something, they would just ignore everything and just wham all the way through. And, and I would just kind of sit there going, What? You know? Yeah. I mean, I'm not a game designer. I don't know the first thing about what you have to keep in mind in, in designing a game. Ideally, yeah. the game designers would keep it impossible for you to have to do that, for you to be able to do that, because people will do whatever comes to their mind. Oh, but, yeah. um, but at the same token, I feel like, why? It's, yeah, it's taking I get that. it's taking all of the fun out of it to just quote cheese it. Yeah. Enjoy the cutscene. Okay. Oh, this is the first thing. Okay, crap. Whoa, look at this. Be careful. Huge amounts of Aether are rushing to the core. What's that? Keeper of Knowledge, Eden Prime. Oh, I know this song too. <laughs> I think it, this is the boss theme. Okay, those tank busters are line attacks, so try not to be next to the tanks when you go off. It's so nice to hear all these really great Uematsu uh, tunes. Hell yeah! I mean, not to say we didn't hear them the whole time, but you know, these are <laughs> the really memorable ones. I really love the nostalgic ones. Super okay, get behind him. What? Get behind him real fast. Oh, oh shit. Oh, 
and don't touch the edges. They'll kill you. Arm. Yeah, I forgot. Oh shit. Ah! Oh, it's just dodge stuff. Oh okay. shit! I want to shift! I won't you die! Oh! oh shit! God. I forgot. Get behind him. I had hot bar hypnosis. Ooh! Wow! Oh yeah, this is the, uh, I believe this is the, uh, damage, uh, check. Well, crap! Don't get between them! Okay, I'm gonna take time to read chat. Alicia says they're trying to modernize them so new people get exposed to the same mechanics as later instances. Yay! I think for new people, the scale down for level capped characters isn't very accurate. Scale down characters are massively more powerful than levelly characters. Mm -hmm. The Pritchard says your callouts are very good. Thank you. Yeah, Alicia, I totally, I totally recognize and see that. Thank you for being able to put words on that because I, I, I've noticed that, and I guess that's part of what I'm noticing, and that's part of my question. Um, it answers part of my question. I mean, so yeah, thank you. Uh, I think we're boned. We can probably just run to the sides and get. Yeah, nice work. All right, moat self. Don't, uh, don't take your eyes off the boss to hang out on your hot bar. Enjoy Devilman. Whoops, why did I- oh man, I wasted my sprint. I had the wrong- I hit the wrong button. Ugh. I uh, used my sprints already! Ugh! All good. I'll shield you if I have to. <laughs> uh, but I know how they do. Mm -hmm. I spurt into the laser beams, so with the tanks. Well, nothing left for me to do but dance. Can't heal in my heels tonight, Big Beth. Alright, get behind him when he moves to the side. He's about to do it, I think. Yep, there he goes. Kind of. Humanite. Oh crap, it's getting the buff people. Uh, okay. I'm buffing you. <laughs> My dancey dance house. We had a nice little. I forgot the name of what that is. <laughs> Musical terms are completely leaving my head. <laughs> All right. So at the end of this laser fest, um, remember he's going to go to the corner again. That's what I was noticing. And once we get behind him, I'll hit Doubleman so you can bust out the big guns if you have any. Mm. No, get off my screen, you dumb Matt! Oh, get behind him! Get behind him! Oh, shit. I'm dead again! It's okay. Alright. Shift. 
I'm waiting to get more power. All right, thank you. Ragor Maximus. Get to one of the sides. Don't stand between the, the big old thingies. Oh, where is he? Right. There. He's doing the thing. I'm going to start dancing once I get up here. Improvisation. All right. Focus on one. And then the other. Oh, there's folks to do that? No, no, I don't remember. Well, that wasn't supposed to be. In front of him when he did that big old cleave. I should have saved my improvisation for this part. Whoa! But, uh, enjoy the fireworks! <laughs> this is so trippy. This is actually a, um, a summon, I believe, or, an, or a boss attack from Final Fantasy VIII. It is. I bet classic, like, we're going to destroy the universe to deal 500 damage to you. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss these old summons. Wow! Nobody. You get blasted off into the Milky Way. Okay. Reverse Big Bang. <laughs> this is such a callback. Fall Wait. back to the ground. Whoa! You have successfully survived the asshole of fate. <laughs> up, get your big guns, Gavin. Behind him. Improvisation, like, uh, like it's a big move, because that's where I uh, keep one of my big attacks on my samurai. Ah, ah. Come on, we got him, we got him. Goddamn right we do. Oh, laser party! Oh, rave! That's the only kind of party I want to be at. Rave! Rave! Super get rave! Once, the, once this is over, get behind him. It's, there we go. That was a good time. Nice. Yes! I'm going to give it to the Black Mage. She was top of the damage charts, it looked like. And by that, I mean she had the most hate of the DPS. Oh, I'm just going to pass for all this crap. Um, need it if you want it, because some of this gear does look pretty cool if you are not a monk or samurai. Okay. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I was so afraid. <laughs> you did great. Let's see, uh, no. I am going to mute Discord. Uh, I'm just gonna do need. Good idea. Just need everything. I don't even know why I'm still in here. Oh yeah, because I'm waiting on you for the cutscene. I'm just. I've never gotten so many things, ever! Okay, let me do uh, the so, player accommodation. 
four will uh, four pants and four chests will get you respectively the pants and chests. Uh, one bangle, I believe, will get you uh, an accessory. Um, and then two for everything else. Oh, I didn't get a cutscene after that. Me uh, either. You're, you're just here. Let me start. Right, again. Are you on, Jay? Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, so we gotta trade these. So it's basically coins. I'm gonna give it to yeah. my uh, my dude who collects things to give for other things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're they're the standard raid tokens. All right, let's talk to Oriange. <clears throat> Though we anticipated some form of resistance, I did not foresee Eden generating a much smaller replica of itself. To think that a mere fraction of its power could manifest such a powerful adversary is frightening indeed. Mm. Give me just a moment. The sun is slowly setting, so... The birds are singing, flowers on are blooming. <laughs> on days like this, kids like these should be burning in hell. What's that from, if anything? Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> days like these, kids like you should be burning in hell. I never did play that. I just... Um... I mean, I, I'm aware of, like, the premise of it, but I've never played it. I, uh, it, it's one of those games where you kind of got to, like, let go and embrace your more emotional side. Mm -hmm. It is very, like, when I played it, the, the, like, the, the best, like, it's called the pacifist ending, literally made me cry. So. Mm. <laughs> Hoping I'm not turning the music up too high, but it's, I'm hoping it's not too low either. Uh, Prince says, "Good, great, uh, good, good game." Undertale, is such creative writing. I absolutely agree. Toby Fox also makes insanely good music. Just nuts. I've heard a little bit of it. It's, it is, it's amazing. Oh my gosh. Hopes and dreams save the world is like in my top ten video game songs of all time. There's one that I know, but I'm not sure if it's from Undertale or another similar mm -hmm. game like it. Forgot the name of it, but I'd know it the moment I'd hear it. Um, can, you, can you, like, hum a few bars? It's totally out of my brain, but I know that it's okay. a boss battle. Um, Let's see. There's Megalovania. Uh, that's the one most people know. Um, there's uh, Battle with a True Hero is really good. It's probably from a, it's probably from the wrong game. That's okay. It, it's like the the tune like the main the main refrain from the mm -hmm. chorus. I can't sing it too well, but I'm gonna try because my voice is so okay. cracky. It's terrible, but it's I don't know if it's even the right game. Um, just the the chip tune is just awesome. Heartache. Huh? Heartache? Da 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 Is that it? I don't think so. It's like a very fast it's a fast clip song. Um I I I'd have to go look it up. But I actually downloaded it at one point. I just don't know if it's the right game, but I know it's a chip tune and it's from one of those really popular games. I think it sounds like you you sound like you were humming the like refrain from Heartache. Uh, which is in a couple other songs. Mm -hmm. um, I think... I think it's in... Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce the name. It's in German or something. It's like Bergentruckung or something like that. No clue. <laughs> no idea, yeah. Mm -mm, I have no idea. I am so sorry. Prince says, Prince says, the pacifist is so sad. I don't think it's sad. It's joyous. Uh, and then going the genocide root is I assume what he meant to say is so much darkness yeah yeah genocide root like I didn't do that I said fuck the achievement I'm just I don't want to do that to myself <laughs> I have to play incredible saints in every game where I give it a moral choice yeah I cannot play quote-unquote evil characters um, yeah like even ones that are meant to be playfully evil like I don't know why I can't get into it that's why I couldn't play this guy up um, yeah it's, it's like playful evil but it's just like it's I still I can't get in on it. What do you think good about this guy from my point of view is the printies? I love them. <laughs> yeah, dude. So yeah. Let me see. Let me talk. Right. Let me talk. 
Come on, thank you. There we go. It seems that we'll have to wait for the Aether within Eden to stabilize before we can teleport to the core. Alright. So now for Reen. It seems that Thancred's prediction about there being some sort of guardian was right. Thankfully, it was nothing that you can't handle. And I'm glad to say that you haven't absorbed any light either. So far, so good. Now that the way is clear, an Aethernet, the Aethernet shards can send us to the core and back whenever we need. Why don't we give them a try? Whatever you say, small Minfilia. <laughs> Travel sized minifilia. Proceed to Eden's core? Yes. We're not doing anything else. Oh. Uh, um, according to Prince of Spades, I felt pacifist was sad because even when it all worked out, there was so much heartache leading into it. That's very true. Yeah. What does Thanklet say? Oh, you chewed your hair back. Yep. Standing around and waiting is hardly my forte, though I dare say I'm more suited to this than whatever Oriange is doing. <laughs> Question not my methods, Knave! <laughs> <laughs> though the apparatus is now in place, a number of minute adjustments must needs be made before attempting to assert control over Eden. Alright. Oh, who's this? Who's this other person? Oh, cool. We it's Kashka Black. We can actually share space with people. Okay. Yeah. Once Oriange has activated the device, it's my turn. So I get that one, and I get to pick. Um, I think there's a cutscene. And since a raid, there will be no voices. That is all us. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. It's Tron. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Bruce Boxleitner! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Rion J, are, are you at him? Yes. <clears throat> the time hath come, Reen. Doll thy ether into the little spinny thing. Watch over me, Minvilia. Is this supposed to happen? God, I hope so. Eden is offering considerable resistance. Not now. Not when I'm so close. Orion, no, Orion, no, Orion, say. Rolls is. Everybody, meta and in the game, are concerned about Orion. <laughs> I, I just thought it was hilarious the way he's the only one who just gets blown out of his fucking shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I am unharmed, but what a free. No, you listen to me. Aw, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Reen! Reen! Oh, shit. <laughs> Secret, sorry. Be careful! These are like my favorite colors. Why are they used for a bad guy? Ugh. Yeah, that's why I like my um, Manderville sword so much. And I'm really looking forward to, um... What is it? It's like... Solution 9, that's what it was. I almost told them oh, to play wow. in outer space. I, I, I really want to know what that's all about. I'm super excited. Yeah, oh man, Don Chill cannot come fast enough. I got my pre-order. Me too! Ah! Huzzah! Huzzah! Oh wow. Okay. Oh, what a what a saucy little skirt he has. <laughs> it's like Kuja's skirt, but not. <laughs> but not on an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't I didn't actually uh, beat Nine, I just didn't like the characters and I never got very far in it. For some reason I really enjoyed Nine. Yeah. I could never I liked Freya. I wanted to think of Kuja as a badass, but it, it just didn't work. We talked to Thinker. Yep. Well, I'm glad that's over. But for how long? 
Urianche says. <clears throat> the beast's fury hath subsided. Yes, because he's gone up in the air. That's all he wanted to do. Move! Yep. <laughs> I float above you, tiny people. Let's see, Bean appears to have recovered from her battle of wills with Eden. Oh no, this fight. It worked. I'm in control now, I think. You think? <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm now linked to Eden, I still need to figure out how to give it commands. Pray tell, what caused it to con convulse so violently? It's alive, that's why! Never mind. It's alive! <laughs> it must have been when Eden rose into the air. I'm still struggling to stop it from drifting too far from the camp. Even now, thou art... Warning, pretentious asshole detected. <laughs> Reen, what's going on? Ah, above us. Something's coming this way. An enemy. No, oh, that's the sun. <laughs> how, how dost thou... Ah, could it be a Sin Eater? I can't see them clearly, but... No, that's impossible. What is it? They're inside, too. Lots of them. Trying to reach the core. Not invited guests, eh? If I'd known they were coming, I would have tidied the place up. <laughs> 51 liner. <laughs> Japes are a poor substitute for a viable stratagem. In that case, I suggest that you and I deal with the ones who are already inside. And Renat can wel welcome our airborne adver adversary. I can't say that. Green, find out if Eden has any defenses that we can make use of. Preferably ones that don't recognize us as the enemy. I'm not sure about that, but I can use the Aether Currents to send you wherever you need to go. That's my girl. Alright, everyone. We've got work to do. Thanks, Dad! <laughs> From what I could tell, Eden is able to form simple structures by redirecting Aether, so I'll try to give you something to stand on. When you're ready, head for that portal over there. Get in the glowy hole. <laughs> Quest accepted! Let's see, Alicia Eden? says, I tried to play a, a dark side run on Knights of the Old Republic. I couldn't do it. The dark side choices were so stupid, self-destructively so. No sense of complexity or pragmatism. Prince of Spades says, met Mr. Boxleitner and he was truly a gentleman. It's Kamehame Kameha. <laughs> I'm Kameha Kameha time. They show up. Apparently, oh, sorry. Uh, Chris Spades did not get their pre order yet. Ah. Did you know that Kame Kamehameha is the name of a Hawaiian chief? Yes. He's one of the. Uh, I believe his um, cape. He had like a cape made of yellow feathers uh -huh. that is on display as a national relic of Hawaii. Mm hmm. Come on, Eden. Show me what you that. could do. Sorry. You're fine, I'm just being good dingus. Exit to the empty- Okay, bye! Oh, never mind. Alright, so, um... I'm not gonna look up any strats or stuff, but this boss has a lot of time manipulation mechanics. Mm -hmm. Um... So, you need to... know what the effect on you is going to do, and then it will go on- like, depending on what they cast, um it might go off at a later time than when you think it will. Mm. Um, I remember it being easier than it was explained to me, but it's also been like three years, so... Mm. Let me see something. I'm, I'm curious. I have a list of quests. Ooh. There's a lot to do in this. <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, never mind. Okay. So, it, there, there's... Yeah, there is still a lot to do. It kind of reminds me of uh, Coils of Bahamut, of how long it is. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4... Yeah. 5, 6, 7, 8... There's 12 parts. Yeah. There's there's four in each... And that's... Um, I mean, that's just like uh, Eden in Stormblood. Um, and there's also 12 parts of... 
God, what is the 12th part dungeon in Endwalker? Pandemonium. Wow, we haven't even I haven't even opened that yet. Yeah, there's a oh, lot yeah, of Pandemonium open. is fun. Hmm. Uh, I'm I'm sending you the song that I think is the song you're thinking of. Okay. Whenever you get a chance. Doesn't have to be even on stream, but actually, yes, this is it. Aha! I'm good. This is it. <laughs> I am going to swap to Samurai. As much as I really want to level my Dancer, I don't want to have to deal with looking at my hotbar <laughs> while fighting <laughs> complex bosses. Alright, give me just a moment. I'm going to use the facilities, and I will be oh, yeah. right back. I guess yeah, that's... Well, he's gone, it's time for uh, Roma's Comedy Hour! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Verbal shenanigans, um, I don't know. I usually have something to react to. <laughs> right now I'm just kind of like reading memes. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Gollum's loincloth is like two inches of toilet paper, and he's hopping around like Disney's Quasimodo, doing acrobatics, and we as an audience are narrowly spared from seeing his pee-pee, but you cannot, you cannot argue that Sam and Frodo didn't see it at least once. They didn't want to, but they didn't have things like camera angles to save them. They probably saw Gollum swinging little meat sack a hundred times, and both of them just decided to never, ever mention it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back! <laughs> That's when I come back on. But yeah, it's, 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 it's probably true. me to verbal shenanigans. Right, it is. But yeah, it's, it's very true. <laughs> very, very true. All right, let me let me check one more thing. I got a oops message on the side. Oh. This is why I never instigate obviously. <laughs> So, um, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, before I left, um, Rama shared the song I was attempting badly to sing. It's the Ascore theme from Undertale. That was a song that would, that lived rent-free in my head for like four months. <laughs> and, um, it still does, now that I remember it. Oops. I'm just making sure that um, everything is set back up. <laughs> so I apologize that I'm taking so long to get going. Oh no. We'll have to be angry at you for that. I guess. Come on, little window. There you go. Okay. I am gonna keep us in. Is that alright? Oh, yeah. Now, limber up. There we go. <laughs> Like, seriously, these are all my favorite colors. Like, this nice royal blue, this gold, and then, like, this magenta. Especially the magentas. Oh, hell yeah. It's wonderful color combinations. Shout out to the art folks who worked on this. Just the whole crew. They're just a scads of talented people working on this. Yes. Prince says, you do know you're the streamer, right? Which means we are happy to wait. And I... Second to that motion. Yeah, but there's people watching, you know? I don't want to waste people's time. Eh. 
I sat through Rich's streams of uh, Endwalker. I think I can take you. <laughs> I haven't seen those streams. What are they like? Um, he was like. Sometimes it was difficult he, for me to like sit through him because he uh, he would go off on like tangents and like it became kind of a meme to accuse him of stalling. Um, but like we don't go on tangents. <laughs> you're right, but like it was like he was by himself, so he, it was just like stuff like that. And I'm saying like too much, uh, but it was very beautiful to watch him slowly change uh, over the course of the game from you know kind of an annoying little shit goblin to a an annoying little shit goblin who was deeply in touch with his emotions. Ah. <laughs> it was very sweet. I hope one day to be like that, be like people watch and they're like, hey, I had a great experience while watching you and thought about things and life and stuff. Yeah. Uh, my fa One of my favorite moments was when he was at the end of Shadowbringers and he found out that um, Elidibus was a child and all the shit that he had been through was on the shoulders of a child, and he just, like, broke down, and it was very beautiful. I am a psionic vampire! <laughs> Pure emotions. I found all of my little exercise emotes. I'm putting them down. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Getting ready for battle! Hell yeah! <sighs> This is precisely why you don't skip your squat regimen. <laughs> In real life, I cannot do sit-ups. My, my core muscles don't work. <laughs> I could maybe manage one if I had something to hook my feet under, like a couch. Yeah, maybe if I, like, gave myself, like, the biggest strain in my stomach, and that's a terrible place to get a strain. Oh, god, yeah. Prince says, hey, I had a great experience watching you, and you bring all the feels. Huh. Good work. Cool. I do need to go back and, and watch your, um, like, end of end walker stuff. So I can drink your tears. Well, I'll just tell you what. My re my response when I realized Thancred was dead was ridiculous. Like, I still think about it and go, my god, that was ridiculous of me. But I knew it at the time, and I was like, why? <laughs> um, sometimes they just rip the emotions out of you whether you want it to happen or not and I rarely have that happen like there's yeah. there's. Oh, I'll, I'll talk about it when we get out of here <laughs> hell yeah there we go About to say the tanks are giving us extra exercise time. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow boxing when I heard you on the raid. Oh, oh, hey, Guts is our tank. <laughs> really? Cool. It look, kind of looks like him. This grumpy yak from that old guy. Oh, I don't need to give you wow, there's a person. Partner. It's like a like a meat bag. The dragon has a lover! Let's go! <laughs> Price Felger, is that you? <laughs> Alright, first time. Oops. Don't be there. Oh, uh, get behind one of the things they hit you as they move. So. I can't get behind him. Oh well. Same thing, they, they move inward, just be out of range. Damn it, they moved in before I could do my AoE. Oh, I guess it doesn't <laughs> matter, they disappear anyway. Oh, yeah. I'll be over here! Whoops! Crap! Wanna? I believe this is one of the things that, um, delayed the fight. Good bug! I'll Spell and waiting, that's what it is. 
so those are not going to go off now, so don't worry about it. They'll go off when, uh, when they start doing that. Yeah, so get away from everybody if you have one. There's a couple waiting again. It's still on me. I can't come near you. Yep, it's fine. Just when it starts picking down, run away. It kind of is. Uh, shit, is this spell I'm waiting? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Alright. Entropy, I believe that's a forward cast. Get out in front of him. Maybe not. I was wrong. Watch out for the fisties. Oh, ah, I, that. Fuck. I didn't see the edge. I ran right off it. <laughs> it's okay. Doomboy Guillotine's gonna have little, little dudes coming out. Man, that was so stupid. It's not like fuck. It happens. If I had a nickel for every time I fucked up mechanics I already knew, uh, I would be a billionaire. <laughs> oh shit, here they come! Ah! Alright. Wait for more power. There we go. Oh, one of us has to stand in each one of these. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Now remember, get ready to get up on this guy's jock. What? We can't all stack right stack here. Up, stack, stack up, stack up. Right now? Stack up. Yes. There we now spread out. <laughs> Uh, okay. Don't run off the edge. All right. Nope. And then get the these as soon as, as you're done, or have someone else get one. So if they're all stuffed, you're fine. Oh, 
almost died from that. <laughs> Here we go. Yay! Good work. Aww. Yeah. Oh, that weird dragon had a separate face. Two faces? Somebody called the Batman. All right, let me see. Player commendation. Oh, don't leave. I don't get to commend you. <laughs> I used to have a. I. Sorry, y'all. I'm just. I'm greedy. <laughs> <laughs> there. <laughs> well played. Uh oh. Hey, okay, cool. I got two uh, armies. Um. Oh, oh cutscene. Cutscene. <laughs> there they are. That's the person I hate. But I'll voice her, <laughs> and I won't be d d dismissive with it. Oh, you you want it? Okay. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, I'll voice the the one. The new person. Now. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're not. Thank goodness you're unharmed. Yes. We came as soon as we took care of our unwanted guests. They were a stubborn bunch, and quite unlike anything I've ever seen in the past. The first. No. I won't let you. Damn the light. Damn you all. Who is this person? A bitch. Who are you? What do you want? I... Uh, me brains! Why am I here? What is happening? Someone cut me strings! She's alive, but there's something strange about her ether. She didn't seem too pleased with Reem taking control of Eden, which may be what caused her to appear out of the blue. Beyond that, it's anyone's guess. It is plain she is not a Sin Eater. Not even in part as Vothri was. Yet this knowledge does little to assuage my fears. For she is nonetheless possessed of a power most terrible. Nod. On the other hand, if she's feeling cooperative, she might be able to tell us more about Eden. I'll keep an eye on her until she wakes up. There's no telling what will happen when she does, but I'll make it clear that we mean her no harm. Well, no further harm, at the very least. Obviously, it's not a good idea to bring her inside Eden. It's likely that reaching the core was her aim from the outset. So I'll take her to the camp. She's totally light, despite being covered in armor. <laughs> I'm a beefy fanker. I gotta jump off the side like Batman? No. <laughs> <laughs> now that things have settled down, I should get back inside and try streng strengthening my link to Eden. the silence linger a bit. <laughs> okay, Rianje says, I have yet to discover the means by which the exterior was breached, though it would appear that the fiends that Thancred and I saw were of a similar nature to those led by thine own adversary. Void scent, in other words. Hmm. Damn, void scent. All over the place. Damn, goddamn. Driving down up property values. And <laughs> <laughs> 
Although I had my hands full trying to control Eden, I caught a glimpse of your battle. That power. I've never seen anything like it. Princess, don't yawn! <laughs> What thou witnessed was the tearing of the very fabric of reality, the creation of a rift through which void sense may enter. But pray tell, Reen, didst thou make any other observations? Hmm. I couldn't sense any light at all in that girl or her servants. And I can't really explain how, but she reminded me of Emmett Selk. The prissiest Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Though I think it unlikely that she is an Asian, she may yet be thrall to Zodiac, who is dead canonically. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to find out more once she's woken up. In the meantime, I'll try to improve my control over Eden. It seems to be listening more than before, instead of screaming at me like it was at the beginning. And that's not all. I've made an exciting discovery. Let's see. Mayhap Eden hath imparted unto Reen some manner of ancient knowledge. Hmm. Alright, let's talk to Reen. Reen's newly formed bond with Eden's core has led to a surprising discovery. Let's find out. <laughs> the concept of movable printed type. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a lot more confident in my ability to control Eden now. Of course, this is only the beginning. And we shall accompany thee wheresoever this path may lead. Pray tell, what manner of discovery thou hast thou made? I understand how Eden's power works. And therefore the true nature of the Flood of Light? Yes. It affected the balance of all of the Aether in the Empty, shifting it so far toward the Umbral that it stopped flowing altogether. I want to tip the scales. And to tip them back again. That's what Eden does. It controls the power of Aether over a wide area, forcing it from one alignment to the other. Left alone, it still poses a threat, but if I can harness its power, I think I could use it to breathe life back into the empty. It has the power to tip the scales, but it's being a real asshole about it. <laughs> The trouble is, I haven't the foggiest idea of where to start. And if I go about this the wrong way, I'll do more harm than good. Thou needst not bear this burden alone, Reen, nor should thou. Tis no simple matter of awakening that which lies dormant. All things in nature are inextricably linked. The elements maintain a fragile harmony, without which life cannot prosper. So, what should we do? Fuck if I know. <laughs> <laughs> a solution hath begun to take shape in my mind, though it will require further discussion. For the time being, let us return to the camp. It would be remiss of us not to involve Thancred and his mysterious passenger. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -da -da. Dang it. Yawning all everywhere. I've slept the most of the last two days. What the heck is wrong with me? How dare you? <laughs> now let me talk to Reen. Yeah. I'm curious to know what connection that girl has to Eden. If only she told us a bit more before she collapsed. Okay. Thank you. Still sleeping soundly, I'm afraid. If I'd known she takes so long to come around, I'd have brought a good book or two to pass the time. Banker doesn't know how to read. <laughs> All right, Urianje. <clears throat> My friends, I believe I have struck upon a method by which we may see this world restored. Urianje, before you go any further, allow me to make a potentially very long story slightly shorter. The plan is to control Eden and realign the Aether of the Empty, right? In essence, yes. However, unleashing elemental energies haphazardly will not suffice. 
In addition, the empty is unfathomably vast. Were we only able to affect change over one small region at a time, it would take many lifetimes to complete even a fraction of our task. Instead, our energies would be better spent revitalizing each element in order that we might set in motion a more widespread transformation. One at a time. I hate to say this, but I don't think Eden will be able to draw out a single element without affecting the others. For that very reason, we shall select a location in which the ambient ether we wish to restore is at its most potent. Even in a dormant state, sudden elements will be more prevalent and therefore easily more, more easily manipulated. Then we rebalance the ether and return it to the land, whereupon it shall be borne on ethereal currents to the farthest reaches of the empty. But what's to prevent that element from breaking free of Eden's hold and causing a disaster of some sort? Your mother. Uh, <laughs> it must need to be contained. The question is, how? Renat, indulge me for a moment, if thou, if thou wouldst. I, it. I wouldst. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Pray, imagine a corporeal manifestation of each of the individual elements. What dost thou see in thy mind's eye? Surely not. Or Googles? Uh... I think primals, but... Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say surely not. Okay. <laughs> Don't tell me! Mayhap thou art afeard to utter that fateful word, for to even speak the name Primal is to invite misfortune. Not really, but... Okay. Yeah. If you, if you say Voldemort's name... <laughs> <laughs> Though invited we must, as the ether is drawn forth and realigned by Eden, we shall perform a summoning as Master Louisois once did on the fields of Cartano. As one who hath laid low countless primals, thy memories will shape the ether into a deiform entity, which must subsequently be dispersed in the traditional fashion. So, defeat it, in other words. But is that even possible? Uh, <laughs> you're talking to the guy that does it. All the time. Everybody's <laughs> looking at me! Okay. <laughs> I, I break my fast on primals! <laughs> in other words, I... I, I eat primals for breakfast. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's either that or being torn to shreds, or to be honest, I'm not sure. No, the last one is not true. Yeah, um, absolutely. Like, we literally do it every day. Yeah, I break my fast on primals. <laughs> right now, I am very hungry. <laughs> Lest thou forget, t'will be no, no more than an approximation of a foe thou hast previously bested. I have every confidence in thine abilities, Renat. Not. As do I, though it might help to have some idea of what you will be up against. Have you decided which element to tackle first? I propose water, the source of all life. As for the location, an area to the west of Norfrant was once home to the world's deepest ocean. Alas, the flood of light reduced it to a yawning chasm. Water. Yes, that seems like a good choice. I'll see if Eden can take us where we need to go. And I shall prepare for the summoning. We're gonna actually summon a primal? Jeez! <laughs> We're totally flipping the script. Yes! <laughs> Thangrid, wouldst thou keep watch over our enigmatic antagonist? She may have vital information to impart. In the event that she becometh agitated, thou mayest have need to restrain her. Someone's got to do it, I suppose. I'll be praying for your success while I wait here, twiddling my thumbs. Upon my return, I wish you to twiddle something of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this whole thing is where everybody kind of got the whole Orange Fankrid tag team. No, I think it's so, yeah. I, after this point, it is, is when it feels like they were like mostly hanging out together. Mm -hmm. um, I like I said, I've said before, I don't get the romance angle myself. I think Head Cannon is beautiful, but I do love that they just like bro out every like they're used to each other now. Yeah, like I, I love that too. 
Like yeah. I I don't I don't see like the romantic inclination either. But yeah, the fact that you just throw out, I don't think I would have expected it, which is why it makes it more fun. Yeah. <laughs> like the nerd and the jock getting along. Yeah. I think it kind of does have a little bit of a poetic side, but it, yeah, when he's flirting, yeah, when he's <laughs> when he's flirting, it, I've noticed it a little bit when he goes like um, reconnaissance thinker. Mm -hmm. It's not very obvious, but it's where he shows more of a lighter touch with stuff. Um, mm -hmm. So I've never really seen him as a full-on jock, um, but I definitely see him more as a normalish guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I definitely see him as somebody who is more than capable of taking like a, a lighter touch with things, a more nuanced oh, yeah. touch. You know, I can't really describe it. It it has to do with with his uh, with his reconnaissance ability. You know, you, you kind of have yeah. to lay low with stuff and see things in certain ways. And so, like, yeah, with the, I... oh, go on. No, you please. Oh, I was just saying, like, it comes out a little bit when he talks strategy. And, um, and a little bit when he's making jokes, like he's been doing this, this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it when he told um, Emmett Selk, if you've brought your ivory standard, I'd be happy to tell you where to stick it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's, um, it's not that he's, it's, it's not poetic in an Oriange way, but it's, it's, it's playing with his words. And yeah, yeah. I, the way he does it, you know, it was really fun. Um, oh yeah. And so that's why I, I don't consider him a jock. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of, like, he's a jock, but he's like the quarterback or the, the coach jock. Like, he knows what's what, but he also has a head for strategy. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, I like, as much as I do like Thancred the Gunbreaker, uh, because he's awesome and we needed tanks in the expansion, I do miss Rogue Thancred. Yeah. I think, I think he still has it, but... Oh, yeah. I, I think that, um... Tank Thancred is interesting. Um, it's, it, it does come off exactly how how he needed it, which was out of necessity, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I do miss that because I believe that the original Rogue is exactly who his personality still is, you know. Oh, how tell ya! I, I, it's definitely not a meathead. So I I I. Thinker just grows on you. Jeez! He does. He gets in your bones. Yep. He kind of just... Damn it, that's why I cried over him so hard. You just kind of expect him to always be there, you know? He's just yeah. there, being Thinker. You know? Like... I I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Now I'm on a Thinker tangent. <laughs> I love this dude. Or a... Or a Tanker tangent. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm, I'm reading Thancred, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still, I must say that I don't envy you being brought up in yet another one of Orionje's Mad Cat schemes. Though, come to think of it, if the creature you must fight is born from your own memories and imagination, why don't you try thinking of something a bit, uh, tamer than the primals you've thought in the, fought in the past? Hmm, perhaps that's not how it works. Anyway, best of luck. Don't die. <laughs> He's just so down to earth. So it's been a long... Oh, go ahead. I, I was just going to read this this little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. All, all he says is, um... Reed's acquitted herself. Yeah, acquitted herself well in this whole Eden business. But I think she needs to slow down a little bit. A little. <laughs> We're in no hurry, after all. She's all right. going incredibly insane. <laughs> uh, it, it's been a long time since I actually read up on it, but I believe, if I'm remembering right, mm -hmm. Thancred is from a Germanic name, Tancred, mm -hmm. which is also comes from the the word tankard. Yeah, he likes to drink. So he's basically drink the man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me know when you're in here. I'll read for Brianje. I am here. <clears throat> Leviathan is the ideal candidate to embody the element of water. Be warned that the circumstances of said summoning differ greatly from that of the primal encountered in the source, and the results are difficult to predict. Alright. Anybody else? Alright. So... Um... Tia Marillion, 
You here? I should just ask the party. What am I doing? Yeah. Alicia uh, just gave me a little waiver like 10 seconds ago, so. Okay, so we're all good. Yep. Jumping around. Let's see. Eden seems to be responding well to my instructions, so we should reach our desti destination in no time at all. Like, uh, makes a bubbly noise. <laughs> oh, right. This is the place. I'll see if I can draw out the water aspect at Ether. Oh, that, that didn't work. <laughs> The rest is up to you, Renat. Memories of Leviathan come flooding back. One of the first primals we had to deal with. Yep. Eden's Gate Inundation now available. Inundation. <laughs> Alicia says, well, that explains why he's always trying to charm the ladies. <laughs> My name is Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, turn the gain up a little bit more. Change the hue a little bit more. I'm gonna put you us in. Ready? We're making good progress. All right. We are. Inundation. Ah. Oh, uh. The Okay. So in game, uh, Alicia says, "The Viathan drops part of the platform. Watch your step." Okay. Thank you, German references the viewing of the cup half empty or half full. <laughs> Where's my step dance? Can't find things when I'm looking for them. There we go. <laughs> We're almost in I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea how I timed that so, per so perfectly, but I love it. <laughs> Every time I see the step dance, I, I, it makes me think of the theme from Winders from Final Fantasy XI. <laughs> very, it's very jolly and adorable. Where'd you get that? Uh, it is, it it is it from Limsa. Uh, is it? It's either Lim Yeah, it is Limsa. I think. Yeah, there's a quest in Limsa that's like level 15 that lets you get a dance. Yep, there's one in Gridania, one in Limsa, um, and then also one in Ulda. There's the, so, Limsa gives you, um, the step dance, which is this. Gridania gives you the harvest dance, and Ulda gives you, where is it, the ball dance. Yeah. The ballroom blitz. Yep, this is the... Ball dance. I'm doing the harvest dance. But yep, these are you can get these all really early in the game. So in in summation, uh, do your dance, do your dance, do your <laughs> dance quick, Mama. Come on, tell me, tell me what's the word. <laughs> I do gotta say, one one thing I love about this game are all the emotes and stuff that you can just get, you know, oh, by, yeah. by doing the seasonal quests. I miss, it makes me miss City of Heroes. Like, out of the box, City of Heroes had like 300 emotes. And wow. there were like ones for, for different kinds of sitting. So like, there'd be one animation for sitting in a chair or, uh, or sitting cross-legged on the floor, or sitting on the edge of something. Mm -hmm. um, and there were like 
six different kinds of leaning on walls. So, like, it was very in-depth, and I loved it. Okay, not gonna take long at all. Nice. Let's do it! No memory of this place. Shadowbringers has so many underwater things. Rings of space! I miss city heroes? Yes, absolutely. Our memory of Leviathan is like probably a lot bigger than, <laughs> than, <laughs> than what it actually was. <laughs> huh. I think there were two of them? Yeah, 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 that's right. I'm remembering that right. <laughs> yeah, because we did fight him when we were pretty small, so yeah, our memory of it's gonna be really kind of big. We're thinking of him through the memory of that Rogadin that, like, he's telling people he's from the, uh, Company of Heroes. Mm -hmm. But he's just like some rando. Damn it! There we go. Tiny pole. I think that's an AOE. The music in here is great. I oh, love yeah. guitars, so... Oh, Rift Current, I believe that's Tank Buster, maybe? Yeah. But it's a beam. <laughs> oh, back to this. Ideally, yep, ideally the, um, tanks should be standing on either side of the end of the boss. But, one of those probably do. Silken! Damn! Bring the pain! Oh, yeah. Get away from the guy with her turn. Alright, this song is going in my music library. <laughs> oh, uh, watch out. We're gonna get pushed, so come over to the right side. Uh, I believe this is get between the heads. Yep. Crashing the pulse. Oh, crap. Sounds a little bit Manson-y. <laughs> Just a bit. From what All I right, can this hear. Might put, this, this puts a, uh, a status effect on you. Um, so I'm going to explode at the end of this, I believe. Okay. Watch out, put this on the edge. Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotta get away from everybody. No! What is this? It's a it's a loop. Don't move around too much. Stand in the middle. Oh, they ain't stand in the middle? Yeah, it's a donut. I just kind of got away from everybody. I had no clue what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw somebody like trying to stay in the donut. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Get the donut! <laughs> Get the donut. Yeah, that's why I said I'm new here. I'm not gonna know what it stays to. I'll just get the donut away from everybody and save everybody the okay. trouble. Okay, these explode, I think. We gotta watch. He's gonna do come out through these holes in the sides. So, look out for the that portal. There's a portal over here. We must get away from. Where are you? Oh, he's done. Okay, cool. Oh, Alicia, come back to life! 
Oh my god. Paladin? Or the warrior. Wizard is a dead sword. Okay, they get pushed, get to the right. This is a fun fight. Hell yeah. Oh, get to the sides. Ah. I'm... Ah! Yeah, I yeah. didn't quite make it. Should've called that out. Earlier than I did. Oh, it's just me and the warrior over here. Ah, damn. Look out, I might hurt you! Wow, I found that right. Almost done. Yeah. That's a fun frickin' song, and that was a fun fight. That was a fun fight. Remember, it beat a lot harder. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's because we got the Windwalker. Yeah, probably. This was current content when I did it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're apologizing to the wrong guy. Uh, we've been making cameo references for a lot of the night, so... <laughs> uh, Alright, Arianje. A most empathic victory, Renat. Unfortunately, we cannot yet be certain if the Aether is behaving as predicted. Alright. Good job on fighting Snake. <laughs> that was incredible! Is that what a primal looks like? Yeah, it's like a Sin Eater, but with color. And it doesn't eat your either. Except not boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not quite the same, then. But why is that? The Leviathan of the Source was summoned by the Sawagan, to whom he was no less than a god. Without their faith, the Deiform entity that we brought into existence differed on a fundamental level, though it was no less formidable. The manifestation relied upon by Renat's experiences of Leviathan, and may have been influenced by recollections of other water-aspected beings, leading to further discrepancies. Memories brought to life. But I still can't tell if our plan actually worked. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. That's how it be on this bitch of an earth. <laughs> how goes it? If you've finished slaying your primal, or whatever it is, I suggest you get back here on a double. There's something you ought to see. Hmm. What could that be? Evidently, our only recourse is to return to the base of operations forthwith. I bet the person's awake. They're awake, and they had explosive diarrhea, like, everywhere. <laughs> like, I was horrified, but also weirdly impressed. <laughs> it's like, how could one person have that much inside? <laughs> so yeah, now I need you all back to help on cleanup duty. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> We're like talking a hundred foams in the sky. It was like a fountain, like the one outside the Bellagio. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> Sorry, <first> Alicia. <laughs> I 
Uh oh, it is something in the sky. <laughs> We're not. Look, it's poopy. <laughs> what you called me over for this? Oh wow. We even have some water aspected crystal. Yeah. That's impressive. Hell yeah. To get actual aspected crystal with it. The Twelve's good grace, which is a marvel to behold. I never thought that a whole lake would suddenly appear like this. And we're just getting started. I only hope the burden is not too much for you, Renat. Let's do and more! I just have this lovely idea of everyone just being like awed into silence by the beauty of the landscape and then the warrior of light going holy shit <laughs> just like breaking the moment <laughs> especially since we barely talk <laughs> right and that's like his only spoken word in the whole game <laughs> It's just super loud and aggressive. <laughs> okay, Orion J. <clears throat> Alright. Such a profound transformation. Though the change appears to be limited to an area no further than a few moms in diameter. You know. Freddy, what is holy shit? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I first heard Orion J's plan, I didn't know what to expect. But then that enormous crystal appeared and. Water came gushing forth, and, well... Wait, hold on a second, let me get a photo. Hell yeah. It's definitely some sightseeing kind of stuff. Oh, hell yeah. There I, I love that... I love that the Eden... that Eden is, like, part semi in the clouds. It's kind of got, like, a... Uh, like, a wreath of clouds around it. It's very pretty. Yes. Hold on a minute, let me check something. One, two. Where? Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. Hmm. Stream lamp is being weird. Street lamp? Yeah, I use stream lamps. Oh, stream lamps. I thought you said street lamp. I was like, huh? <laughs> Let's talk to Reen. Reen and Oriange are considering the next step in the plan to reclaim the empty. I think this proves that the water aspected Aether is no longer lying dormant. So, which element should we realign next, Oriange? Well, the quest said Earth, so... <laughs> I propose Earth. Should we succeed in returning the soil's life-giving energy, the empty shall become capable of supporting the growth of flora. Imagine that! Forests in the empty. But before we begin, I'd like to know how that girl is doing. Still sound asleep. She didn't so much as stir, even when I took her helmet off. I thought it might be getting a bit stuffy in there, and I was curious to know what sort of person we're dealing with. She seems surprisingly normal. Not at all like your usual void scent. I'd say she's around the same age as you, Rain. Perhaps a little older. Well, whoever she is, we should let her rest while we concentrate on the task at hand. And as much as I'd love to go with you, I'd best stay here in case she wakes up and is feeling less than cooperative. And while I wait here, wishing that I had something to read, my thoughts will be wish you with you as you fly off to face the next opponent. It must be a strange feeling to bring something into existence through your own willpower, only to slay it immediately after. I almost feel sorry for the poor things. All the same, I wish you luck. Yeah, you wouldn't feel sorry if you saw it trying to kill me. <laughs> if all goes well, he won't be waiting for long. The sooner we get this over with, the sooner we can see the results. Very well. Quest accepted. Oh yeah. Damn. 
Hello, it's an Alicia. Doing laps. Orianje says, <clears throat> Once more unto the empty, dear friend. Thou art prepared, I presume? Yep. Now, before we embark on our journey, there is one question I feel I should ask. Where are we going? Oh shit, I forgot to plot a course. <laughs> I would suggest a certain region that lieth east of Norvrant, which was once home to the great Mount Atlas. And for the Earth aspected primal we wish to invoke, what could be more fitting choice than Titan? I don't think I've heard of that one. What's it like? Big and rocky. He is worshipped by the kobolds or the landslides. <laughs> the landslides! <laughs> <laughs> The landslides, that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I got pushed off this platform, I died a lot, it was, uh, it was the worst. <laughs> it seems like you had a rather traumatic experience. <laughs> I wasn't oh, that really? traumatic, it's just I was trying to give you an impression of something with land. <laughs> 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 but if our last battle is anything to go by, this one, this one will be different from the Titan that Renat remembers, yes? Aye, twould be wise to consider the two as entirely separate beings. One of them is part monster truck. <laughs> That's not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> as such, thou must needs conceive new stratagems, if thou art to triumph in the battle to come. Past experiences will avail thee not, I fear. All right, Renat. Once you're ready, we'll be on our way. It took a while, but we finally arrived. That doesn't sound good. It's Ready, we're not? <laughs> Ready, we're not? Well, you can't really see me do the hand fist thing, but yes. Uh, let's rock? <laughs> Memories of Titan come tumbling back. They're using very cute turns of phrase. Yeah. See Eden's Gate, the Sepulcher of something, because it went away too fast. Yeah, it's, I think it's just Sepulcher. Alright. Do you remember anything about this fight? Uh, he turns into a monster truck at one point. I don't really? know if you heard me say that. I did, <laughs> yeah. but monster yeah. truck? <laughs> yep. Um, it is mostly about hiding things, uh, dodging things, hiding behind things, rather, dodging things, and desperately trying not to get run over when he is a monster truck. Okay. So, the, uh, if I remember right, the arena is divided into columns and rows, um, and when he is in monster truck mode, he will, like, bore over uh, columns. Hmm. So. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and put us in. Hell yeah. They have jumping jacks. I, I think they do. I just don't have them. I thought that were. I was thinking about that earlier. Hey, you got the way. There. Oh, I know it's in the. Nope. Uh, we do not have jumping jacks. Wow. Yeah, that sucks. like that bit in Final Fantasy 7. Yep. Look, I'm, do I'm doing squats for a wig so I can dress up like a pretty girl. <laughs> Making my legs nice and shapely. Hell yeah. <laughs> There's two products out there I should really think about sponsoring. Or that should really oh, yeah. think about sponsoring me. Yes. Chapstick brand and website Canva. <laughs> what is Canva? Oh, it's the place that I use to make all of my, um, make all of my banners. It's a site where you can put together, um, graphic stuff that you might need 
um, based on some, based on a lot of templates, but you can also make your own from scratch. And you can nice. upload images and stuff to use in it. And so that's... I, I tend to use their templates and then mess around with them because I'm very bad at just coming out with designs on my own. So I use a lot of the templates and I'll rummage them around until I think of something that works. I see. That's kind of cool. Well, Canva, get on the horn. <laughs> I mean, granted... I, I haven't bought a subscription, and I don't know if I'm going to, but your services are great! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to pay for it, but they're awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Makes everything nice and easy. And if other people want to pay for a, the subscription, they're more than happy to. Hell yeah. Just I personally don't. Chapstick, you better get over here, because I use that stuff every day. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, there we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> what? You I, I accidentally shrunk my Final Fantasy window. Um, oh no! I was trying to click on the text box, and it shrunk my window instead. And um, what that does on the viewer end is it pauses the whole screen. Oh snap! Uh, okay, that's going to explode in rows outward. Oh. I'm dead. I'm running around too much. Get you, Hammond. Alright. Wait, get more healing? Thank you. Rumbling down! Dang, music's still good. <laughs> Alright, now one of them breaks, and you want to get behind the other one. Something about bombs, I think. Oh no! Watch out, don't be- oh, never mind, he's not doing that. He's doing the monster truck thing. Ah! Okay, don't be in front of him when he does that. <laughs> I thought I was to his side, but I got to there now. That was... unexpected. Just a little bit. Now he has some rocks right on us. <laughs> yep. And then he makes one of them really big. Uh, so you want to get to the other ones, and then when, they when the big one explodes, get away from the... Huzzah! go in the direction I thought I would. Here's the, there's the monster truck. Don't be in front of him. Oh! That was okay. close. Okay. Oh my god. Whoever this mentally straw is getting my, uh, my calm. Look 
first. And the big one's gonna be in the middle, on the far left. Yay, I'm at the bottom of the foot table. That means I suck. don't know what I'm talking about. No, really, I, that's what I, when you said that, I, I thought the same thing to myself, and I, I would, I would have gone to the same spot, regardless. Um. Oh my fucking god. Don't worry, it wasn't you. in a minute. Done with that mechanic. <laughs> right? Oh my god, I finally got it right at the end. <laughs> I didn't. I did not. I I need to be, I need to figure it out. I need to figure out where best to be. Or you can forget about it, because you'll probably never come here again. Well, you might get in a trial. Well, I'd hate to never come back, but... That's true. Also, roll me on that delicious pet. Ah. Yeah. Ah, man. Yeah, I feel the same way. Fuck that! <laughs> I'm gonna roll me. Oh, I got it. I guess they didn't want anything. 
Or maybe this person rolled need on everything already. Hell yeah, right? Oh. Yeah, okay. Need. Oh. And. Need. Okay. Super seismic. Yeah, I'm gonna be uh, taking a short break to repair after this. Yeah. Oh yeah. My gears. Oh wow, actually, my gears in pretty good condition considering I just died four times. <sighs> All right, Ujianji, what do you have to say? Well fought, Renat. Well fought indeed. Thou, that thou wert able to triumph over this avatar of primordial rage is testament to thy puissance. Okay. Green. Yeah, yeah, deep breath. <laughs> that was a terrible fight for me. <laughs> me too. Uh, welcome back. You must be exhausted. I am. Let's see. For a creature made of rock, he was a lot more agile than I was expecting. Same. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. Was the Titan of your world a tough opponent? Tough opponent too? Not quite that tough. Um, he never stood a chance against me, or yes, if I put one foot wrong, I would fall into my doom. Uh, kind of in between. To be honest, yeah. I'm gonna say yes, if I put one foot wrong, I would have fallen to my doom. Yeah. You might say I was caught between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> so all it would have taken is a momentary lapse of con concentration? I don't like the sound of that. I didn't like being there. <laughs> But more importantly, you've defeated another elemental being, which means we're a step closer to reclaiming the empty. I can't wait to see how much of a difference we've made this time. Well, let's find out. It changed to Earth aspect, did it? And there's less snow. Yeah. Well, there's never snow. It's all sand. Oh. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did we really do all this? Well, Renat did most of it. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> it would appear that balance has returned to the element of Earth. And yet... The transformation hath affected only the immediate vicinity... Whereas the lands beyond this lake doth remain unchanged. It is passing strange indeed. Did we do something wrong? Though this falls short of the outcome I had envisioned, it is plain our efforts were not in vain. Oh. Mayhap the localized phenomenon is the result of an intersection of ethereal currents. Therefore, it is reasonable to assume that similar locations in the empty have undergone comparable alterations. Then the Aether will spread out from these points to cover the rest of... Oh. Oops. Green. We're gonna just like think, think, think. <laughs> oh, bother. <laughs> Alright. You said you wanted to go take a break real fast? Oh, I was gonna repair, yeah. Um, yeah. Take as long as you need to, though. Actually, um, let's both repair. How do we get back out here when we leave? Uh, you go to the same place, um, in uh, the southern part of uh, Amirang. Okay. Or is it the northern part? I can't remember. I have no clue. But... Just gonna go to Mort's. Alright. I'm gonna go there too. Actually, I'm gonna follow you, I think. Well, I don't know if it'll let us do that. Uh, yeah, I think we're in different places, so I don't think. Yeah. Oh, Alright. There you is. Hello. Repair person is over here, past the Skywatcher. I did not have chat up. <laughs> Alicia says, the longer the fight went on, the worse I got. Join the club! Yep. Oh shit, I have to... 
suspend new game plus mode before I can repair. I hate that. Oh yes, they do look neat. There we go. Oh, the Eden Relic Exchange, I forgot about that. You know, in retrospect, my dancer is wearing, like, the whole, um... Well, I guess it wouldn't be this, it'd be the, uh... Crypt Lurker set, never mind. The jewelry is really cool. Is it? Nice. I need to get. Ah! Uh, I have to get more the stuff. Striking robe. The Eden striking robe, also robe, also known as a pregnant woman's moo moo. What? <laughs> Fucking hate that so much. Let me see what the trousers and stuff look like. Eh, I'll skip the trousers. Um. It's like the entire. Eden striking set looks like Marlon Brando in uh, what he would wear in um, Island of Dr. Moreau. <laughs> the mail looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah. And the boots. Ooh, they're tall. I love tall boots. <laughs> They're very tall, like they're they're extremely high thigh boots. That that's up my alley. <laughs> and I can't wear the helm because I'm a bunny. Even though it, I could potentially wear it because it replaces the whole head. Devs. I hope that there's like a big overhaul in that coming in Dawn Trail. Yeah, me too. I mean, I technically know why it's such a big thing, but at the same time, I also know that they anything that replaces the head, they could do, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but as long as, like, it is like a hat, like, it's difficult. Um, I don't get why a helmet wouldn't work, because that replaces the head. But maybe it's just the way they wrote it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna take this time to kind of get some side stretches in. All right. I I forgot to this blanket right here that I use for my shoulder. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta you gotta call it a night, Alicia. Thank you so much for being oh. here. Yeah, so thanks for showing awesome. up. You were a lot of fun. We appreciate your helos. Yes. Have a good night, all right. And rest your eyes. Do it. <laughs> rest them. <laughs> this blanket here is a halo themed blanket oh really yeah see oh yeah it's got a little bit of master chief on it looks like yep and a truck for some reason it is <laughs> but yeah it's a uh, it's a it's a halo themed blanket and um it's awesome i got it from the dollar store whoa i didn't even know that it was halo themed i just saw it was blue because i like blue and it wasn't like <laughs> paw prints and other weird stuff that I don't want. And so I bought it and I unwrapped it because they always sell their blankets as a roll, you know? And mm -hmm. so I unrolled it and I was like, wait a minute! <laughs> this is That's Halo! Chief. Yep. 
And so I make sure I have it on my chair for my gaming streams. Because seeing as how it's related to video games, it's perfect. Oh yeah. Because nobody can tell what game it is unless I show it. <laughs> And I remember way, way, way back when I was a little, little kid, um, our parents got us Nintendo-themed uh, bed sheets. Ooh. Uh, and it had Mario and Zelda. That might have been it, actually. It was just Mario and Zelda. But uh, it was like the box art, and it was like all all the, you know, 80s Americanized versions of them. That sounds or it might so have been fun. art from. Yeah, it was. It was awesome. It might have actually been the instruction manual art, but... It was, it was the coolest shit in the world in the 80s for a kid. Yeah. That does sound awesome. That that would be worth, like, having two, you know, two uh, things of. One to keep in your closet forever and the other one to use. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Holy crap, that is a cool-looking jacket you're wearing. Damn. Oh, this one? Yeah. Gang Genghis skin jacket, huh? Yep. Damn. This is what I wore for post-Shadowbringers. Um, Damn, that's good looking. It, granted, it has like this subtle green, and as much as I don't like the green, it doesn't show up very well because of the uh, the texturing on it. So yeah, it looks very black and gray. Yeah, so I'm just like, I'll wear it as much as I don't like the the archer green, but at least the archer green is less pronounced on this. I mean, you could dye it. I could, but then it becomes less less interesting. So I so I keep it like this. Very cool. That yes, this outfit was my post Shadowbringers outfit, which is nice. what I, I I think I'm gonna go back and like I've already done it on accident. I have like one outfit from ARR saved that I went mm -hmm. back and made. Um, I have my Heaven Sword outfit already. Um, mm -hmm. I wore my I wore my Scion outfit for um, Stormblood just with mm -hmm. these boots, the same boots, but they were dyed white. And then for Shadowbringers, I don't remember what I wore most of the time, but I did wear a specific outfit for the last for, for the last uh, area and the fight. Oh, awesome. And then uh, this was post Shadowbringers. And then I don't think I, well, actually I did kind of have my outfit for the beginning of Endwalker. And then I just started wearing whatever, and then I had my accidental end of Ben Walker outfit. So, <laughs> that was when I started wearing yellow shirts. So, uh, so nice. yeah, I I, I I I like the idea of of wearing whatever my favorite outfit was for a specific time <laughs> period. Whenever I go back to that part of the game. <laughs> nice. Oh. I mean, granted, I don't have the bow I was using at the time. This is the Endwalker bow. But I dyed it black. That is a cool-looking bow. It is. I've got... I'm toting the, um... Susano sword from Show Stormblood right now. Nice. Yeah. I'm kind of a fan. Yeah, that's a nice sword. A real nice sword. <laughs> Alrighty. So, we want to keep going, take a break. What do we want to do? Let's get the last one out the way, and then we'll have this part done. Hell yeah. Which means we got to go back to where we were. Uh, oh yeah, we can just fly there, Hurry Sturgis. Uh -huh. There, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go under the arch. There. <laughs> Dares. I don't know which way to go, but I'll just head out here. And hope I'm in the right direction. <laughs> hey. I love this motorbike. Motorbike, motorbike. Motorbike. I don't know what I'm singing, I'm just saying motorbike. Motorbike. Motorcycle. <laughs> what was that? Was that, uh... That saying that. I don't know. Or either. Damn it. <laughs> Megadeth? They're gone! No, there they are. Okay. 
<laughs> Here we are. Rain, Rain had to take a knee. Though there was no Rain. arrow involved, I promise. <laughs> Rianje says, Perhaps asserting her will over Eden hath taken its toll. Bankrupt says, Are you alright? Hey, okay, wanna talk to me? Hey. Green appears to have been overcome with exhaustion. It... it's nothing. That didn't look like nothing to me. You'd better lie down for a while. Go to your room. <laughs> no, really, I'm fine. Anyway, we still got work to do. Nay, Thancred hath the right of it. It would be unwise to exert thyself over much. You too? Okay. <laughs> I appreciate your concern, but I do wish you'd stop fussing, Mom. <laughs> Prepare to thy chambers. <laughs> Reen. Oh, sorry. This is already Oh, it is, yeah. Reen, thou knowest not the strain that is placed on thyself. Though the elements of water and earth have been restored, Continued exposure to the empty stagnant ether may yet sap thee of thy remaining strength. Now that you mention it, I've been feeling a bit out of sorts ever since we got here. I should probably get away from the empty and rest for a while. Would be the most mature choice. <laughs> Pray do so. Meanwhile, I shall remain here. The restoration of the first two elements hath produced unexpected results, and I require time to analyze our findings. However, I must ask thee to refrain from discussing our work in the empty, even with our closest comrades. There's more than one way to read that. <laughs> yeah. You shall refrain from discussing our work in the empty, as in while in the empty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did. I technically did what you said. Uh, oh, thou art correct. The best kind of correct. <laughs> I, you should refrain from discussing our work while we're out here in the empty. So we can't talk about this anymore. Sorry. This... Talk about what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is so dumb. <laughs> it is, but it's fun. Why? I thought they'd welcome the news. Question me not, child. <laughs> and indeed they shall, once we have more to show them for our efforts. More to show for our efforts. Nevertheless, this mission is one of surpassing Uri danger, and I am loath <laughs> to place our dear friends at risk, unless absolutely necessary. You have their best interests at heart, I'm sure. But to be perfectly honest, I prefer to keep sec I prefer not to keep secrets from people that I trust with my life. I don't want to make a habit of this, but I'll do as you ask. I'm all about secrets. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> it seems to me that Reen isn't the only one who would benefit from a change of scenery. Our Sleeping Beauty would likely fare better in, a more, hosp in more hospitable surroundings. We'll need to have our associates from the Crystarium organize a safe place for her to stay. If you and Renat could go on ahead and have a word with them in Mordsuk, we'll catch up with you once Oriange has finished. Whatever it is he needs to do. We were just there! <laughs> hmm. Perhaps thou too shouldst accompany her on her, the return journey. I dare say she would be glad of thy presence. No, not this time. She's come such a long way since we first met, and I worry that relying on me too much will only hold her back. We won't be staying in the first forever. The time will come for Reen and I to part ways, and for her to follow her own path. We won't be staying in the first forever. In fact, we're technically already gone. <laughs> I know you understand this too, Oriage. I see you trying to pass on as much of your knowledge as possible while you still can. And to her credit, she's actually taking most of it in. 
Reen is possessed of a natural affinity for etherology, unlike some who shall remain unnamed. <laughs> a natural affinity for staying awake during your lectures, more like. Though, come to think of it, she doesn't really take after me at all. Aww. However, like thee, she is predisposed to brooding in silence in lieu of voicing her concerns. <laughs> eh. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, she gets that from me. Says the master of keeping his cards close to his chest. Anyway, Renat, you'd better take the sky slipper with Ring. It's true uh, that. Are you, you hmm? done flirting yet? Like. <laughs> <laughs> It's true that she's been through a lot lately, but so have you. We'll need you ready for the challenges that lie ahead, so go on and get some rest. No, I have one more round to go, and then we'll be done. <laughs> we shall await news of thy safe arrival in Amarang. Alright, what does these two gotta say? Tancred says, we'll have to decide whether it's worth posting Crystarium guards to watch over Eden while we're gone. Maybe not. Uriange says, as there is little risk of our camp being ransacked, it may be left unattended in our absence. So the answer is no, like I said. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I, not. <laughs> I close. Okay. Alright. Green is in board. Oh no, she's up by the, t uh, by the car. All right, Reed, what do you got? It seemed like you were all having quite a serious discussion. I hope I haven't given you any cause for concern. Nah. Eh. Well, if you say so. I probably shouldn't stay in the empty any longer than necessary, though. So, do you want to take the first ship shift piloting, or shall I? As my peloton... Yeah, good topic to try! <laughs> Talk to Reen. Phew! I'm glad I had you there to keep me company. I have no idea how I would have passed the time otherwise. Now that we're here, I need to find our contact from the Crystarium. But before that, I was hoping I could have a word with you. Something's been on my mind. Yes? This might not be the best place for it, though. Those creatures over there look a bit hungry. <laughs> oh yes, they can totally threaten me, the god killer. <laughs> well, I've come out here to kill things all the time. Be sure this is any quieter. <laughs> when I first spoke to Thancred and Oriange about what I'd sensed in the empty, part of me wished we could have just left it alone. I guess I was scared of what we'd find. But now that we've found Eden, I know that I made the right choice. And I'd given in to my fear. I, and if I'd given in, given in to my fear, I probably would have spent the rest of my life wondering what might have been. From now on, whenever I hear that voice inside of me telling me to run away, to hide, I won't listen. That's not who I am anymore. Even so, all the courage in the world is not going to help me decide what we should do with the girl when she wakes up. Do you remember what she said right before she passed out? Why am I here? What is happening? What if she's being controlled or forced to act against her will? Whatever the case, it's clear that she's not a monster. She's a person, like you or me. Obviously, she knows something about Eden, and we need all the information we can get. But more than that, I just want to talk to her, to find out who she is and if there's anything we can do to help her. On the other hand, we mustn't forget that she's already attacked us once. What's to say she won't try it again when she wakes up? If she keeps us from reclaiming the empty, it will be all my fault. It's no good. I can't make up my mind. What do you think we should do, Renat? Hmm. If Alphanova were here, he'd talk things through with her. 
Even Emmett Selk had his reasons, we should at least hear her out. Or there's not much we can do until she's awake. All three of these are true. Um, yeah. Yeah, I feel just... like the last one is a little more dismissive of her concerns, because you can still plot things, you know, and have a game plan to work with before she wakes up. Right. Yeah. But I'll go with whatever you go with. Hmm. We should at least hear her out is at least more direct. Yeah. Yeah. And and the, the fear is of being attacked. So, I'll address that directly. Alright. Even if it Selk had his reasons, we should at least hear her out. I see what you mean. Perhaps if we'd been able to come to an understanding, things wouldn't have ended the way they did. I hope she's nothing like Emmett Selk, but we won't know until we speak to her. Until then, I'll try to concentrate on the here and now. Speaking of which, I still need to see I still need to see to Orianger's errands. The people we're on our way to meet lent us the Sky Slipper and most of the apparatus we've been using. And since we've been sworn to secrecy, I assume the same applies to them and their colleagues. Anyway, once that's over with, we can find a place to relax. You know, get a bite to eat, shoot the shit. <laughs> You ever tried those skewered frogs over in Horde Zook? Those are pretty good. Nah, we still got ill from them. <laughs> bill, bill. A woof. A woof. Oh, I still need to finish that quest. You do. What is the matter with you? I just picked it up. My God. Okay. I mean, I, I picked it up earlier, but I never actually worked on it. So yeah. That's okay. Now we get dust storms. Now that we're here, allow me to introduce you to two members of our inner core, or whatever you want to call it. I knew it. Hi! <laughs> That's Google, who's interested in trading for any relics we find in the empty. Apparently, he mostly deals in exotic weapons and whatnot, but he's agreed to help us keep us supplied with whatever else we can't get from the Crystarium. And fucking hell does he love to dance! <laughs> <laughs> now, the ones we came to meet should be around here somewhere. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll be the cure, I suppose. All right. uh, oh, the other one has Xenos' haircut. Yeah. Not quite oh, as long, though. What a relief it is to see you had returned and unharmed from your expedition. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. We were gone a bit longer than we expected. Renat, I'd like you to meet Lurie. Charmed. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. As a representative of the Settlement Council, I am here to oversee the delivery of equipment deemed necessary to your mission. I will be on hand to provide any assistance you may require, and this is my homunculus manservant. <laughs> he doesn't speak. Like you. Okay. <laughs> He's one of you. Actually, there's something we'd like to take care of, or like you to take care of. It's probably best not to talk about it in the middle of the market, though. I'll take it from here, Renat. You should get some rest. But before you go, I'd like to thank you for everything you've done. We still have a long road ahead of us, but if we give it our all, there's nothing we can't handle. What about oh. the last turn? Oh, you know what? I think there's four turns with three each. Is that the case? I thought it, it was. Three turns with four I thought each. it was three turns with four each. No, I think it's the other way around. Oh. Shit. Well, that's not too bad. Let me look. Yeah. Let's do the cutscene first. Thank grid is up. I see. Oh, Alicia says we did four. Hi. 
Wow, oh, that went we? fast. Wow, I guess we did. Huh. Oh yeah, we did uh, Eden, we did uh, the thingy, the dragon on top, we did uh, Leviathan and Titan. Okay, wow, wow, we are bad at counting. Yep. <laughs> but still, we're, we made good time today. Here, let me see if we... Okay, so this is what I was thinking, right? We could do, right. um... We could do a plot of four for, the, you know, each day for the next few days, we could do a plot of four. Mm -hmm. Until we finish this. Is that okay? That's fine by me. All I right. love it. Let's see. <clears throat> Although it is... So, which is okay. me so Sorry. That's me. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I am the orange juicer around here! <laughs> Though it is mere supposition, it would behoove us to proceed with caution. Moreover, I would refrain from discussing the matter with Reen and Renat until we know more. Also, Alicia, you should be resting! Yeah! <laughs> well, I appreciate you telling me, even if it's far too soon to be sure. I'm the one watching over her, after all. Nice tent. We did a pretty good job setting that up. <laughs> Bring it up was a bitch. <laughs> the Oracle of Darkness. So where'd you get that name from? I pray it is not true. Oh, Alicia says I can rest my eyes and listen at the same time. Hanny son of a bitch. Okay, let me see something. This might be a place to stop. Hold on a minute. Yeah. On. Um. Hmm. Anyway, but the ferry. I'm gonna assume that this might be um, a pickup point that we can go from from here. Wait, yep, that's fine by me. What's Leary doing over there? I don't know. Let me see. I'm writing things. Does, how does it look? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Renat. How might, might I be of service? Hold on a minute. Oh, that's what he says? That's what he says? Yeah, and then after that you can click on um, Tell Me About Eden. Oh, okay. Uh, and he says, That strange girl you met in the empty is in our custody. Her location is a closely guarded secret, and she is being monitored night and day for any changes in her condition. No, we, we know what that secret is. <laughs> yeah. We have also been treating any information regarding your mission as strictly confidential. It would cause quite a stir amongst the peoples of Norvrent, were to become public knowledge, and we cannot afford for anyone to interfere with our work. Fortunately, the majority of the tasks we perform, such as delivering supplies and equipment, tend to go unnoticed for the most part. In order to maintain the status quo, I and my colleagues will continue to lend our support in as discreet a manner as possible. Alright. Let me see something. Now, if you, Map. If you don't mind, I'll be going back to my Warrior of Light slash Xenos fanfic. <laughs> let me, let me, um... Dang it, hold on. Uh... No. Yeah, let's stop here. This, this seems like a good spot. Alright, so, with that, unbeknownst to us, we finished the four, the four parts of the first round of, of the Eden, um, of the Eden Rite. Hell yeah. And so, that means that we can pick up and do the next four rounds on Sunday. Oh, do you think you'll be around, Ramis? Uh, let's see. Today, oh, today's Saturday. Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, no, today, well, today's around. today's Friday. Oh, right. Yes, I will be around on Sunday. Yes. yes. All right. So <laughs> that will be the plan, and I'll try to come up with a much more interesting title card <laughs> for that. <laughs> I just had the generic "We're gonna be live" kind of title card. Um, Fear and loathing in the empty. <laughs> so with that, I hope you all have a good night. Um, I'm going to roll a couple of extra screens that I made up so that I can, I can, like, make a really faster edit and keep the likes that I get for these live streams instead of taking it down and re-uploading. So, you're gonna, you're gonna see some screens come up. Don't worry about them. They're not gonna be complete. Just, the stream will be over, so. <laughs> but, um, but in any case, again, 
thank you so much for being here. I hope we get to see you on Sunday for more Eden. It's just really been fun. These fights have been fun. Oh, um, yeah, it has. Yes. So, hold on a minute. I gotta get it all set. With that, we'll catch you soon. Thank you. Good night, everybody. <laughs>